Hi guys, this is the first video about empty. If you were on Telegram, you saw that some people suggested we should use it. And empty is a login manager. The TTY, you know what that is. It's a black screen. So empty is another login manager like SDM is, like LightDM is, like Lie is. And it gives you the choice. It checks out the user share, accessions, or the Wayland a folder and it gives you a list what do you want to select so zero one two and so on and it has been packaged on many distros already i'm just making it available now i did not look at the empty dot or the empty configuration here so here is the information on this particular github you'll find all the info i'm making it just available just now and how do we do that well let me show you how that's done on Archlex. So Super F7. I have luckily a virtual machine, still one. <laughs> Deleted all of them. Kept this one. Thank God. So updating is updating. And Gnome is on here. Okay, voila. So the last thing I did probably was install Gnome on this virtual machine in last video. And then super, super, yeah, super, I like gritty, boom. And then sudo pacman minus syyu is when you're on Arch. Update is when you're on Arconix. It's an alias for the same thing. And as you see, well, that's typical Arch, right? Only yesterday, and now we get this immense update. I have a few SSDs with Ubuntu Linux Mint and I updated them. Hardly any updates. It really is a different world. What we did is add a alias. There are aliases, a lot, right? Ctrl-T, nope, not working. Alacrity, or the other one, uh, Console, right? Console. Is it with a K or with a console? No, there he is. Use the command line. No, <laughs> it's another name. Is it? Terminal with a C. Okay, so that one. So I have another terminal and while this one is busy. Type alias. Look at the long list. What is new? Nothing at this point, right? But there is two SDM here, two LXDM. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just type two MG, two fish? But you know the drill. First of all, we need to wait for an update. I think we can actually already do that because it's already finished 50 of 50. Now he's just doing other stuff. What we can do is CB, copy the bash to my system, to my account, home Eric. That's for bash. C, Z, copy Z as H, also done. C, F, if fish is installed, and I don't think it is, but it is, okay. Copy C, F, so all the major um, shells are here, bash, Z as H, fish. And if you say, let's see if we can find it to empty, there it is, all right? Now I have to wait till this thing is installed, but we have something called to empty. And basically, if we do again an alias, let's see if we can find it in the list. Here, to empty sudo pacman minus s, all the way up here somewhere. I saw it earlier on. Let's make this bigger. Here. That's the line. Let's read it. So install empty without confirmation. And if you already have it, it we skip it. So need it. Pseudo system CTL enable it with force because there's something in place probably. There's already LightDM or SDM or something like that. So we overwrite the one that's now available, the default. And we set it to empty. And then basically you get the look 
that we just saw up here in Brave, we get this, right? So if you say, it's not my thing, where is the screen? It's somewhere up at the top where they show, okay, this is basically what we get. We need to log in, right? Root is not that okay. So Eric and then password, and then I'll choose which one to boot up. I'll just give you an example on Discord and Telegram, what I have. And um, that's that, right? As simple as that, they say, well, don't like it. It's back to, to SDM and you're back, right? So first let's try it out to empty. So think about empty with TTY. And then we need to copy the bash. All right, let's see, exec bash. Are you happy now to empty? And off it goes, reboot. So if you log out, log in, or reboot, then your bash is, is recognized as red or ZSH or fish. So that's the best thing to do, reboot. All the aliases will be there. So this is what we get then. Or it seems to be on TTY7. And the version number, maybe something to keep track of. I'm logging in, I can choose GNOME. GNOME Classic, GNOME Xorg. And choose a number. And off you go. Zero is the default. Sure. Let's go for the default. And now it goes booting up. And that's what you get, right? If you say, if you like what you see, voila. Too empty, super easy. It's not available on Clamar. There's no mention of it at all. But it doesn't matter because we have it here. Just a small alias and everything is fixed, right? So if we want to go back, maybe a good exercise as well. Don't like it. 2SDM, back to the default. Reboot. And that's it. It's as simple as that. A few aliases, and there are a few aliases. They're all there. Convenience, fast, efficient. Um, we forget things, and an alias is often, yeah, in, well, interesting to get things done. We're back. All right. Enjoy, MT.